Hey guys, my name is AJ. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and do my Instagram stories. Um, a lot of you have been asking me my little tips, my tricks, my apps, all that jazz, and I'm here to spill the tea. You know, I thought about being shady, but I was like, you know what, Asia? You can't do that. That's not what you signed up for. So yeah, if you want to see how I edit all of my stuff, just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram. So you can see how all of this stuff is actually applied to Instagram. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. <laughs> Bye guys. All right, so I moved over a little bit just so that I could have the screen recording right here. I was like pretty much torn about how I wanted this video done. I didn't know if I should just like show my hands picking and going or if I should put the screen recording but I opted for screen recording because I feel as though if you're watching like a tutorial it's better like to just see the person's face while they talk to you you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and trust it because why not I'm using my favorite chapstick this is a smith rosebud it's the only chapstick I use aside from my lip mask all right so we're gonna go into my phone I have a iphone 11 Pro Max, so it's the latest iPhone until they come out with another one, which is going to be this year. Um, but yeah, so I have the latest one. Mine is the green one. Um, I'll have my iPhone, my iPhone case link below if you're new here. But yeah, so we're just going to go into everything. I'm going to show you guys what's on my phone, like it's a general overview, just in case you were wondering, and then we'll go into photos. So let me turn my screen recording off. That was my flashlight. Such a freaking rookie, you know? All right, so. When you unlock my phone, you're hit with the home screen. As you can see, all my apps are very clean. They're organized for the most part, but I know where things are. Um, but I just cannot deal with apps being on my home screen. Like, I just cannot do it. It pisses me off. It irritates me. It's cluttered. Um, if you're new here, your girl has a little bit of OCD. I'm super clean. I'm super organized. So my phone represents it too. So as you can see, I have my logo on the home screen. I change out my, my logos um, depending on like how long it's been there, when I get tired, if I want something new. Um, and then I don't ever really have a photo of me on the background. If you watched my last few videos, I did have a photo of me, but that just was because I really enjoyed the photo, but I was never going to post the photo on Instagram. So I had to get some use somewhere. Um, but for the most part, 98% of the time, I have my own logo as my background. It's just cleaner. It's just cuter. I don't look vain. I don't look like I'm obsessed with myself. Um, so yeah. So the apps that are on my phone are like I have the first folder, which is basically just like my everyday app uses like weather, safari, stuff like that. And then my second folder is like my means of communication. So like contacts, messages, WhatsApp, yada, yada, yada. The third folder is like pictures, iTunes and stuff like that. And then my fourth folder is my banking stuff and my social media. Um, when you swipe to the second page on my phone, that is when there is like my photos app, my shopping app and stuff. So the first folder, which is the folder we're going to be talking about the most today, is all of my photo editing, my Instagram story editing, um, what I use for my thumbnails on YouTube, everything like that. So we'll get back to that and like break down every single app. I um, mean, like my other apps are just like period stuff um stuff to get my codes for social media and like some extra stuff for my camera and then like this one are my airlines um and other stuff and then this one is like i have some for harper um my lights in my room and uh like to catch flights on deals and then tinder and raya don't use the dating apps anymore i just haven't got around to getting off of them but they're there um, and then I have a app folder just for my shopping stuff. So when I'm shopping online, because um, I'm like tired of using the internet. So I just have an app for that now. And then I have an app specifically for Harper because she's always on my phone anyways. So yeah. So we're going to go back to the photo app. So the apps that are in the photo app, I have Visco, Facetune, Wordswag, Photo Editor, Snapseed, PicTab Go, Airbrush, Story Lux. The other one was for my speakers in my house. Retouch, Rad VHS, Huji, Afterlight, Lightroom, Unum, Color Story, Unfold, Artist, Preview, Story, Story Swag, and Pick monkey So I don't use all of these apps, but they're just there for different purposes. Like I know what they do. Um, so when I'm editing a photo, the main apps that I will run it through are Visco, Facetune, Airbrush. Um, and then retouch depending on what the photo is and what I'm doing, but I'm going to show you what retouch, retouch does and then Lightroom. 
So I already curated a folder of photos that I want to edit because um, I've been taking a lot of pictures recently. So yes, yeah, so I have a folder right here called edit and we're going to go into there. So I think the first photo that I want to edit with you guys um, is this one right here with the blue romper. I took this earlier today because it's a cute photo, you know, like why not? Um, and I didn't get a good picture in my romper the other day, so I put it back on today for a photo. So there's not a lot wrong with this photo. It doesn't need a lot of editing. The sky is good, the lighting is good. Everything is super crisp because I was in daylight. I didn't use flash or anything. And all of these pictures are taken on my phone, by the way. Um, but there are just some things that I could just clean up and fix and alter just to make it an even better photo. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start off by taking it into facetune which is usually always the first step it's usually i run it through facetune or airbrush first because i just would like to focus on like face and skin before i focus on overall photo which is kind of like how my brain works so we're gonna go into it and i have all of these freaking um folders so we have it open in facetune and the first thing i'm gonna do is like smooth my legs i you can't really see but I have like scars on my legs, not scars, but like I have like some bruises and some marks. And then like I was ashy earlier. So I was like jumping all over the roof and like I was just getting even more ashy. So I'm just going to like smooth my legs out a little. You don't want to get it and you don't want to swipe across the screen. You just want to dab the target area just for more natural, like a uh, more natural appearance. Um, You can see like some of my stretch marks, but that's fine. Like it's not that serious. So... Yeah, I did my legs. Um, I'm going to hit my face like a little bit like right there. Nothing too much. And like usually go around the forehead. It doesn't bother me, but I just like dab a little bit just to balance everything out. Um, and then I'm just going to hit my neck a little bit too. So that's everything I'm going to do for smooth on this photo. And then I'm going to press details. And for details, I'm going to hit my lips my earrings. I'm going to touch like my part in my hair and just a few strands on the side right here. I'm going to like hit certain parts in my glass, certain parts of my glass, sorry. Um, don't rub over the whole thing. Like I said, same thing with this one. You just want to do like very gradually. So just do a few taps. Um, sometimes I'll hit the highlight on my nose just to make it pop a little more. I'll run it over my chains um, to make those stand out. And then I'll hit parts in my bag. So just to make it look more dominant and then because this is a turquoise jumper i'm gonna like go over the pockets with the buttons and stuff just to make them be more apparent so as you can see i'm gonna press the thing like the changes i make are very very subtle like you could barely tell i edited the photo which is the point um and then after that i'm gonna go into the whiten tool and i'm gonna whiten my sneakers just a little bit um, I've been rolling around in these sneakers like for the last week or so, so they need to go in the trash. It's time for a new pair, but they'll do for a photo. These are things you could save in a photo. So I'm going to save that to my camera roll. So now that I saved the photo from Facetune into my camera roll, I'm going to go into Retouch. So Retouch is my app that I use anytime there's something in the background on the floor that I just, I didn't notice it was there before I took the photo or I didn't know that it was going to be in the photo but it ended up being there so I'm going to take it into retouch and I know you're probably thinking like Asia what the hell are you removing like there's not much to remove but so what I'm going to remove with retouch is I'm going to click quick repair um so with quick repair I'm going to zoom in all the way and I'm going to run it over this shadow of my tripod and I'm just going to keep going until it's fully removed and boom no tripod shadow these are the little details that will make your photo just look 10 times better um and then like i'm just gonna zoom in like in just little places on the roof that have like dark um dirt marks and stuff like that or like little leaves i'm just gonna remove them out the way and then lastly i'm gonna zoom into my railing where there's a little bit of rust and i am going to remove the rust um again these are things that nobody notices with me i'm a perfectionist so i notice it and I just prefer a look like a really good crisp looking picture. So I'm just gonna remove all that rust around there. And there's some right here. So I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna touch. You could sit here and literally keep going until everything looks like one big surface, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for this photo. Um in this app, I usually just press modify original. I don't save it as a copy because I 
I get confused when I have like seven copies of one photo because I edit it. Um, so I just do modify or original. So for this photo, um, because everything looks pretty good, I'm going to open it into Visco less. Um, and then in Visco, I'm going to open it again, import it. And we're going to go to edit. So edit was the second to, well, the second option at the bottom. Um, and then you're going to click the little two bars, which are the second one. I don't apply none of these filters on my photos. I, I see a lot of influencers that do use filters. I don't know. They're just not my thing. They've never been my thing, honestly. I just edit my own exposure, contrast, saturation, that type of jazz. So this is what I will do for every single photo. So I'm going to go into exposure, which is the first setting. Um, I usually turn it to like 1.5.7, I mean 1.5.7 0 .5 around that range depending on the photo. If it needs like a lot of brightness, the strongest I will ever go is like 1.3 the most. Um, but I'm going to do 0.5 right here. Um, so again, it's bright enough. The photo was already bright so it didn't need much help. I'm going to go into contrast next which is the second option over. And for contrast, I just feel like because there's a lot of blue and green, my turquoise, my skin color, I I like contrast. I like everything looking more prominent. So I'm going to turn the dial to, let's see. I'm going to do like 0.5 as well. This is Usually this is what I would do on every photo, like I said, because this is also the easiest way for you to build like a, a vibe, like a, um, what is it called, an aesthetic on your Instagram. Like find what works for you, what you like, and you can just keep it consistent to all your photos and boom, you're done. Um, and every photo is not going to be the same, obviously, but for me, what works best for me, all my photos are taken in broad daylight or bright settings. So it just looks like everything is cohesive at the end of the day, even though it probably isn't. Like, I don't have time to find backgrounds that are always the same color. They look the same, but everything is always natural daylight, good lighting, or it's nice and clean. So after contrast, um, like a little tip for Instagram as well is if you go into the adjust tab, this is where it would allow you to crop it, skew it, zoom in and all that jazz. If you put it on 4.5, that's the setting for like Instagram anyway. So if you just want to make your life a little bit easier and have it at the default size, you can do that. I usually do do that. Sometimes I do forget. Um, but if it's a photo that I really want to control the size of, I will put it on 4.5. So I cropped this one um, since it's a full body picture. I don't really go into sharpen that often. I used to years ago, but I don't really touch it anymore. Um, I don't really touch clarity as well. And then... I usually go on to saturation. Saturation, I like it because I like appearing a little bit more tan. I like to just deepen everything a little bit. So as you can see, like I get orange. Um, so I'm going to put it on 0.6. So as you guys see, like everything is always 0 0.5, 0 0.6 or something like that. So then after um, saturation, I don't do any of these like tone, white balance, skin tone, and da 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 da. The last thing that I always do in my photos from Visco is I apply a grain. I don't do a super heavy amount because as you can see, it could get very carried away very quickly. But I love the way grain looks on photos. I feel like even you, if you take a super good like clarity photo, good quality and all that, grain just always, it just makes it look like... Like, I don't even know, honestly, but I, I really like grain. I feel like even, like, some super cool photos, they look, like, really good with a lot of grain. Like, those more, like, um in-the-moment photos. But usually for Instagram, I go around, like, the one point something more. Like, it's barely, it's a barely noticeable grain, but you will be able to tell the difference between how crisp your photo looks with the grain. Like, it, you'll just start to pick up on it after a while. Um, So I'm going to apply a grain of 0 0.9. So... I'm holding the screen now right now just so you guys can see the before and after. So this is the before where it's darker and this is the after. So very subtle differences but it just looks better you know. It's brighter, it stands out more, it pops to the eye. So I'm going to save this. And the other thing that I like about Visco as well is so you can see here how I have multiple pictures from one like one frame one setting so say if you edit this one photo and I had five other pictures in this turquoise romper at the same time um, you can click the photo so it's highlighted and then you press the more and you'll press copy edits and then you'll unselect the photo that you just copied um, and then all of the other photos that are alike or that you want to apply those same exact settings to you'll click those highlight all of them and paste it and you don't have to sit there and individually edit each photo or worry about them being consistent and cohesive. 
So that's one of my favorite things about Visco. So yeah, I always run all of my photos through Visco, no matter what, just because I like grain and all that type of stuff. And I feel like it doesn't mess up the quality of the photo at all. So moving on to the next photo, let me just see what photo we have. Which one do we want to do next? Hmm. Let's do this one just because it's more focused on the face. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this one because it's more focused on the face so I can show you guys like how I mess around with my face. Not that I change my face or anything, but you know, I play with makeup and stuff. Um, so for this photo that is more focused on my face, I'm going to open the Airbrush app. Um, the Airbrush app is really good as well, like Facetune. It just depends on which one I feel like using, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go into this photo so as you can see I have some flyaways my makeup just looks like I was sitting in front of direct sunlight and a ring light so everything is just a bit harsh so I'm gonna go into the smooth app and I'm gonna zoom in and again I'm just gonna rub over like the target area so it's like my cheekbones where I have like some texture and just dab it a little bit me my little tiny forehead and then I'm gonna go into what do I want to go into? I'm going to go into acne because I have like some marks on my chest a little bit that are just they're like just I break out sometimes on my chest not a lot but just sometimes so I'm just going to alter that a little bit and then I'm going to go into whiten and just kind of whiten my hoodie just a little bit just because I want it to really stand out because the hoodie is from Pretty Little Thing and I am promoting them. And airbrush is a really funny app because you can literally do so much crap on here. So you could like stretch a certain area of your body. So like if you ever take a photo and you're like, I want to look taller, you could like alter your legs. You could mess with your dark circles, your eyes. Um, you could change the lighting on your face in this app. It's really creepy, but you got to do what you got to do. You could do hair dye. You could apply makeup on this app and everything. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to do in this app. And then I'm going to take it into Facetune because I do want to do the details app. So now I'm in a Facetune and I'm going to open the photo again. And I'm going to go into the details app. I'm going to hit the zipper. I'm going to hit my necklace, my earrings, my lips, my eyelashes, my eyebrows, highlight on my nose, and then my hair. And then sometimes I'll run it over the things in the background of my room. So I'm like, I'm going to hit my dresser, my wall decor, and my bags on the back shelf. Um, just so they are, uh, they stand out a little bit more. So that's it. That's what I'm going to do on this photo. And then I'm going to save this as well. And then I am going to go into Visco again, download it. And you guys hear my dog crying at my door. He left and now he's back. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that you saw me doing the last photo. So play around with the saturation. So 0 0.6 contrast. And I'm going to do like 0 0.2 saturation. I'm going to do 0 0.1. Not a lot because I look super tan. And then for green, I'm going to do 1 point. I'm going to do 1.4 on this one. So and then I'm just going to save that to my camera roll. So that's pretty much how I edit all my photos. So now we're going to go into how I do my Instagram stories. I'm going to show you guys how I do quotes. I'm going to show you how I do like adding logos to things. All of that is coming next. I got you, sis. All right, so now we're moving on to Instagram stories. So I know you probably think like you probably thought it was so much more complex to editing an Instagram photo but the thing about it is like I just like my photos to look clean and everything so honestly most of the work goes into me taking the right photo that way my editing is very very minimal um I think about where I'm editing a photo I won't take the photo unless I know it's something I can edit out of a photo like if it's somebody's shadow or a trash can or something like that like those are things I know I can control on my phone so I don't overthink it um, but for the most part I do keep in mind all of those little details because I'm so used to taking photos at this point and I'm so used to how I like my feed to look and what fits my my vibe on my Instagram um, that I keep it all in mind at the end of the day it's a very hard thing to pick up on because I know sometimes you're just like I just need to take a picture um, I feel like the best tip I could give you is like if you don't open your own picture in your phone and be like that's a fire ass picture 
don't even post it um, because you want your photos to get as much traction as possible and if you're not in love with the photo it just means you're just posting the post i mean you know obviously me as an influencer i have posted a lot of photos just to be active on social media but i wasn't in love with them which is probably why they're not on my instagram anymore anyways that means i archived them all right so for instagram stories um if you do follow me on instagram you know that i like to put things in polaroids i like to have like tape around things um i like to have pretty fonts on stuff um yeah and then like if you go to my highlights tab on my instagram the one is the white heart you'll notice some of the photos are just spaced out into white blocks that's just because i like the vibe sometimes um, but not all of them because it does get like really redundant and tiring to do it every time you just want to post on your Instagram stories normal. But I'm still going to show you regardless. So one of my favorite apps for everything um, is Word Swag. This is one of my hidden gems. Nobody talks about this app enough. I don't even remember how I found it. Um, but it's just good. I use this for my Instagram stories. Like if I'm doing a and a a poll, and I just want a clean background, this is what I use. And everybody asks about me, asks me about this the most. So, if you want to go into your library and use a photo, you can. But usually, I don't. I use the free photos. So if you were to click free photos on Word Swag, um, you could do transparent, which is good. Like if you want to just create a text, and then because say you're on your Instagram stories and you're reposting a picture, um but you get tired of like the regular fonts that are on instagram you could put a font on here on a transparent background save that to your camera roll copy that paste that onto instagram and boom i mean i can show you guys that but i don't know why i just did all that so let's see my most recent one that i used is this palm tree shadow and everybody was asking me where i got the photo from it was from this app um and then it has preset settings for size so square 9 by 16 da, 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 da. so usually i do instagram stories if that's what it's for and then you press next and it just crops it they have so many good fonts on here it's ridiculous so i'm gonna do one i'm gonna put filming how i edit my youtube no how i edit my photos and instagram stories and I'm going to press done. So this is the first font. It's always going to be the default font. And it's I like it. I feel like it looks like an editorial thing. Um, and you just swipe through. And you find the font that fits your vibe. And then it has numbers at the bottom. So for the numbers, it just will change the, the size of it. So this is one of my favorite ones. Gothic Wonderland Family. How I edit my photos and Instagram stories. So I'm going to go with this one. Um... I'm just going to play around where I want. I want it in the middle. And then there's color. So they have obviously monochromatic. They have like splatter. They have gold foils. Like they have everything on this app. Um, it's just honestly like one of the best things on my phone. So yeah. You'll notice too like if you see me make a lot of things. That some of them just come from here automatically. Like if I just want an easy way to have a foil text. Rather than stressing myself out with Photoshop or something. I'll just do this. So yeah, I'm going to just pick one because I'm going to use it for today's thumbnail anyways. So I think I want to go with the black. Yeah, I think I want to go with the black to like gray fog and I'm just going to save that to my phone. So when you save one of these to your phone, it just saves directly to your camera. But then there's an add your logo option. So if you create a transparent logo, which your logo shall always be anyways. Um you'll be able to use this so i have a logo in here because i spaced my logo into a uh what is it called my background so you'll see it here and obviously this is not the logo i would use because this one is a square because i wanted this one to be more of a actual physical icon but i do have logos that are circles i have logos that are just my names and that's what i would use to put this manually on here like whether it be at the bottom or something just so you know it's mine you know nothing too fancy to it but that's how i do that a lot of people ask me how i do that and i just add it on there so i have all my logos and everything that i use for my brand on my phone in a folder and that way i can just control it that way so yeah so that's how i do that and it's just good for just font things so i'm going to do a transparent one so that i can show you guys how i do this what i was telling you so i'm just going to keep the same text i'm going to save it to my phone and then I'm going to go into Insta or no, I'm going to go into photos. I'm going to open that text file and then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go into Instagram. We're going to go home. 
uh, I don't know who that is. We're going to swipe up for Instagram stories. And I'm going to open the most recent photo that I edited with you guys. And usually sometimes once you paste something, it'll just automatically pop up on Instagram. But sometimes it doesn't. And then I'm going to paste it on the screen like you just saw. And now I have a very pretty Instagram story with way better font. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb because people are so rude. With way better font than what you would have with the generic fonts on here. Um, and then you could go into the search, board, uh, the search bar and I like to type in like lines. And then that's how I get like these squigglies that you put right here. And then I'm going to type in sparkle. And let's see which one do I like. Um, I like this first one and I'm going to put that at the top and that's just how I do that. It's really easy but it's people feel like it's so much more than it really is um, but yeah it just looks way better. It's just way cuter so I'm going to save this because I'm actually going to use this for when I do post this video on Instagram. So I'm going to save that to my camera roll and we'll just give that a second. Let's see this is going to take a while. Like, what is going on? Okay, they actually saved. All right, so, and then going into what I would do next for anything else. So, Storylux and Unfold are two apps I use for, like, the whole grid thing, um, Polaroid thing. It just depends on which one I want to use because they both, they both generally do the same thing, but they have different styles. So, I'm going to go into um, Storylux. And as you can see is I have a lot of like my previous work in here because it just saves. So I'm going to go to templates and you'll see all the templates that you guys swear I was making. Um, so there's Polaroids, there's double Polaroids 3, they have like landscape, portrait, vertical, horizontal, whatever terminology you like, <laughs> medial, dorsal, like all of that stuff. Um, you just pick the vibe that you like. So depending on the photo, I kind of just play around with it. I prefer ones that have the really thin squares or actual Polaroid itself. Um, so yeah, and you guys know I've been using this Polaroid one. It's the front one with the back to it as well. So let's see, let's see. But they have a lot. So like they, you have a film tab and then there's like so many different styles for you to pick from. And then there's a love one, which is like revolves around pink um there's paper which looks like ripped paper like more scrapbook vibes they have tapes so you can go through and have different colored tapes um i prefer either the black the transparent or the tan obviously element collage neon edge so i'm gonna stick with the tape t1 so this is like clear regular tape and i'm gonna go for like you just go for what you think looks best. I like this one with the corner tape and the horizontal. Is that horizontal? I don't know. And I'm just going to put a photo in there. So I'm going to go for the photo of me in the blue that we edited just because it's at the bottom. And boom, that's how you do that. And then like if you use two fingers, that's how you zoom in and move it around. And now you have a photo that's in a Polaroid and it just looks way better. And you could put a background if you want to and stuff like that, but it's up to you. I usually keep it white. Um, and then you can export, you could just send it right to Instagram rather than saving it to your camera roll and opening it, just saving yourself some room. And now you have a picture with Polaroid tape on your Instagram story. I'm going to show you one more thing on this app as well. So if you were to go into templates after you open the photo, it'll show you that same photo in the um, grids itself, just so you could get an idea of what looks best. And I'm going to go into film and I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this one that I've been using recently because I like the pops of color because I feel like now that it's spring, I want to incorporate color in my Instagram. But as you guys can see, it says SLXE film, which is Storylux film. Um, if you click branding, I pay for this. You don't have to pay for it if you don't want to, but it's an extra feature if you pay for the app. So this is how you edit what's it, what it says. So this is why you guys always see mine saying my name. <laughs> so now it says Asian Nuri. And that's that. That's just how easy that is. At the top of this, you'll see there is a T for text. If you click that, you could type something. So I'll put today's outfit of the day, period literally 
and I'm gonna move it around and this um this font has really good uh, fonts too so I'm gonna go with I usually go with like a cursive I don't know I just think it looks like more sweet it's not new don't quote me on that yeah I'm gonna go with laurel and then I'm gonna change the color to black so you could read it obviously and I'm just gonna put today's outfit of the day on the Polaroid so it just looks like somebody hand wrote it and that's just that I'm just gonna save that to my camera roll just in case I decide to use that in the future because I already did all the hard work so that's it for story Lux, which is also one of my favorite apps um, and I'm just gonna show you the other few apps that I use as well so Lightroom I necessarily I, necess I primarily use if I'm editing lighting so like for this photo that's already open um, you could press auto and as you can see it did change things in the photo but I don't like it it doesn't fit my vibe so I'm gonna undo that but the reason I like Lightroom is because you could play around with specific colors in your picture so I'm gonna go into light and if you go into light this is where you mess with the exposure and because it's a Photoshop app it's really high quality like it does what it says it's going to do and it doesn't mess up your photo but if you scroll down you'll see whites and blacks so i'm going to show you like what blacks does um because you'll see it altering my hair and like my bedroom set because it's darker so i'm going to keep it really low but like as you can see it played with the blacks um and then if you go into whites you'll see it'll make all the whites in the photo brighter or just like mute them a little bit so i'll put like the whites on eight but but wait there's more if you go into color which is the um the next tab over and then you press wait where'd it go and then you press the color wheel on the right hand side next to the word mix you could press any color so let's say let's just do a blue because some people like adding tints of blue to their photos this is where you'll go into luminance and if you see me playing with it it just starts to like either deplete all the blue in the photo or it adds the blue um but because like this is not maybe i should do the one with the sky let's do the one with the sky <laughs> let's do the one with the abort mission abort mission so we go to my blue romper photo and you go to color and you go to mix and we're going to do blue as you can see because there is so much blue in this photo when i do luminous all the way to the negative 100 it completely darkens the sky and if you do it to the positive 100 it whitens the sky so this is how people control these details in their photos which is so creepy um but yeah so if you just wanted to like make this the sky more vibrant make it more pale because obviously it's like i want photos outside during the day but my aesthetic is more white and creams you don't want the sky to be as blue it is you know so this is how they do that um the sky wasn't really bothering me but here i am now i'm editing it and then like i could go into turquoise and like the turquoise would like obviously pull on my my romper and i could make it look more pale i can make it look like of a darker blue so if you're ever wondering how these girls be catfishing people looking brown when they're not brown this is how they do it because if you go into orange and you do luminous you can alter your skin tone so yeah we're not gonna alter that though because baby girl has melanin period so yeah that's what they do on lightroom but lightroom i only use lightroom for lighting obviously but save a photo with reds oranges you could do all of those colors on there so that's great so unfold is the other app i was telling you guys about and for unfold as you see i have everything here but i'm just gonna press new um i'm gonna put instagram video for you guys you do the plus again and then there are there are grids like the last one on story looks so you just picks you just picks <laughs> guys it's like 11 o'clock at night you just pick what is fitting the vibe for you so i'm gonna go to i always kind of use this crumpled paper one or the one with the polaroid like i said they're just my favorite they just look i don't know they look cuter um and there's also one like for a nine photo so like if you ever had like so many photos and you didn't know what to do with them here you go but i'm gonna go into f1 i don't f f1 and i'm going to no matter of fact let me see let me see let me see let me see i'm gonna go into f f2 and i'm just gonna hit the second polaroid that's the option um and then add a photo so 
I'm just going to add the same photo of me that we've been seeing this entire video just because it's there. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to move it to the side a little bit. And I mean, it's cute. You know, it's a vibe. I don't do the black Polaroid just because I feel like it's too harsh on the eye. I prefer white with like black tape or something. So for a short title, I'm going to edit it and I'm just going to put um, a, no, what do I want to put? Stay home and chill. I'm going to put stay home with pretty little thing because that's their newest campaign. And then you'll go into text and you could change the font so i'm going to keep it the font it is and then i'm going to change the size obviously you can see it now so now i'm going to play around with the text box to make sure that it fits and then i'm going to make it parallel with the photo itself <laughs> Um, it's really, you know, people always are like, oh, I don't know why people get paid off of Instagram and YouTube. We put a lot of thought into it. This shit is hard, you know. It's not easy to just be this consistent all the time. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make it parallel with the photo. It looks parallel to me. And that's how you use this app. This app is also really good if you're doing a YouTube video and you want to have something for your Instagram stories where the video is playing and then you have like two screenshots. Um, I do that sometimes. I don't really promote my Inst my YouTube on Instagram. I don't know why because um, I'm lazy. But yes, yeah, so like if I had a screen recording of a video, I would screen record it on my phone, plop it in one of these grids, and then put two screenshots on the top and the bottom. Boom. Done. Um, so yeah, this is what this is looking like right now. But I also like this app because if you click the little pen and you press stickers do you see this duct tape this duct tape is such a goddamn vibe it looks so freaking it looks so real it, i obviously wouldn't use this one but this is why i like this app for these duct tapes they make me so happy i'm gonna put the silver duct tape over top of the tan and like what is that not a freaking vibe? It literally looks like somebody put the scrapbook on your phone. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save this to my camera roll and we'll just save that to PDF. I don't know why I just did that. I don't know why I just did that either. And then the last few apps that I'm just gonna mention, I'm not really gonna go into too much depth. Um, Unum is something you could use to show your Instagram grid and put your photos to see what looks best where before you even upload and play yourself because sometimes you upload a photo and you're like that looks like the last photo yada 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 so as you can see i have my whole entire instagram grid right here on this app and then there's photos that don't have the instagram icon in the corner that means they're not on instagram that means i physically uploaded them um and you just would swap them around you just be like you know i like this hair and let's see, like let's swap these. And then you'll just be like, no, I wanna swap these because I think this photo will look best here. And that's how a lot of a lot of us do that, just to physically see what's going up before it actually goes up because that is the worst feeling to upload a picture and it does good. And you're just like, but it doesn't look good there on my feed because now your feed is not a vibe anymore. So yeah, this app is really good to just get a visual representation and you can like schedule them so that you could be like, oh, well yeah, now I know I like the way this looks and I want to edit it. I mean, I want to post it on this day at this time. The app will tell you. Um, so yeah, that's good for that. Um, I don't really use artists. Artists is another way to edit photos, but I have it just in case. And then the last two I want to talk about is Story Swag and Pick Monkey. So Story Swag is the same thing as Word Swag. It's just how you do like the video. So I had a YouTube video where it had like this whole grand introduction on my Instagram stories. It's through this app. I'm not going to show you just because the video is getting kind of long. But if you ever wanted a good way to show something on like a video with like the slide ups and the slide downs and like animations, use this app again. It looks like we pay so much money for people to do this for us. There's freaking apps for everything. I um, mean, the last app that I use is PicMonkey. PicMonkey is how I do my thumbnails um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's a lot of us use PicMonkey. I pay for this monthly as well as a, a subscription. So, yeah, that's just that. So, that's pretty much how I edit everything, honestly. Um, did I miss any apps? 
no i didn't so yeah, that's pretty much how i edit everything so i hope that was like informative i don't want this video to be too long because i already know i'm about to edit it it's gonna be 40 minutes so i played myself per usual um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys ever see anything like specific that you guys want me to show you how i did on my instagram story let me know this was just like a good general coverage of what i normally do but if you ever see anything you're like no i want to know how you did this let me know and i got you um and i think that's pretty much it for today it is monday it's 12 o'clock at night i'm gonna go wash my makeup off and i'm gonna go to sleep thank you guys for watching as always thank you for all of the new subscribers all the new instagram followers i appreciate all of you so much and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching like i always say 10 million times in the intro and the outro um i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>